it's Adele and Aaron from Let's Get Inky. And today I've dragged husband along because we just went on an epic trip to Eckersley's, which is like Australia's big art shop that we have here. Um, and I don't get to go very often because I buy too much. For good reason. I go in for like one thing yeah. and then buy a lot. Which happened. The past few today. times I have gone into the shop and Adele has stayed at home or in the car or something. When I've only needed like one specific thing. Yeah. Because I just, it's so pretty in there. <laughs> you get it's me. It's very easy to just spend. And get new a projects. Lot of money. Like, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we bought some things and we thought we'd share them because Please. I've been getting into art journaling. I paint quite a lot. Well, not, I used to paint a lot and then work. You but know. you usually paint it on canvases. Yeah. We both did. The only painting I've ever done is on canvases as well. Yeah, yeah we yeah, haven't been so like... Let's try... Book painting. Stuff. Yeah, but you've started getting into... Yeah, so I have an art, art journal. journal now, which is cool. And this art journal, I'm still trying to find my style. Um, so every page is like really different. Uh, but that's cool. That's cool. We'll go with it. And yeah, it's just an experiment book. Hmm. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, and I got... I've always done a bunch of sketching and had like visual arts diaries and a just plenty. notebooks everywhere a slight notebooks. notebook stationary finish a little bit <laughs> yeah um, but it's okay because i have a paper fetish yeah exactly and that's why we're, we're a perfect match mm -hmm. <laughs> so sweet we'll write your teeth oh, um yeah so yeah i also got got some things um, yeah, this... it wasn't just all me for yes. once. This is a yeah. collective haul, <laughs> and we're sharing things. Yes. So um, I got this really cool, and it's going to look really boring, right? It's just a <laughs> it's white, a white piece of no paper. notebook, but it's actually a visual arts diary. Like it's got the proper 270, no, 180, whatever it is, the thick, sweet canvas feeling paper, which is really cool because. The issue that I usually have with the um, the visual art diaries is the chunky spiral yeah. thing, uh, and they had some really nice oh, ones. I forget the like Strathmore, I think they were. Yeah, they, they got like this yeah. kind of pleather cover and mm. like a bazillion pages. And they were all different types of ones. Yeah, they were like What's mixed media and. Uh, this is a. Oh, it's a jazz art, jazz jazz art, whatever that's. I think called? it's like the It's a basics. refill. That's pretty crazy. Something. I think oh, it's supposed it's to go refill. in something. It'll be like a... Cray cray. Yeah. But yeah, so I might um, cover the front with like stickers and stuff. And then this will be my... To be covered. This will be my sketch book. Because I do a lot of sketching. And I want to try and get into a bit of like uh, fan art stuff. A bit of a gamer. So yeah. yes, so that's cool. what that one's for. And then I... Um, Adele has been getting into the watercolor stuff, and I want to give that a try. So I got a watercolor pad. Um, there are so many watercolor to pads try some to choose stuff. from. Yeah, because we, um, I've been watching Adele with her visual. Um, what do you call that thing? Uh, diary, art journal. Art journal. Um, and the watercolor stuff, you know, to get it doesn't really go. Yeah, you don't want well. the paper to be all like broken and. Wavy and oh hell no! <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. what the paper's doing exactly. when I put the watercolour on it. Yeah. So it'll be fun to play with that and yeah, use probably. some actual watercolour paper. Hmm. Um, what else did we get? We got lots of other things. We did. I got these Faber Castell six pit artist pens in skin tone. It's pretty cool. So um, they're like a brush. I've seen people use them on on the internet on the webs on the webs and they have like a nice brush tip hmm. so that will be fun i'm thinking because i only got <laughs> they had like the giant packs there can you just show your thumb to the camera oh, okay so i've been <laughs> i was in the shop and i wanted to buy some textures but i didn't know if they were the right color so i used my hand to um, test them because I didn't want to write on the price tag or anything. It's like even though they had like bits of paper no, on the but counter, not right but near this. It, well, that's the thing that the counter and is I didn't in there. Like, I've got my tech stuff. Exactly go middle the of the thing. <laughs> Come back. It's like, but this is what you do when you're in a makeup shop. Yeah, it's but such you a can girl wipe thing. It off. Yeah. Yes, you 
<laughs> so I've just got some nice tones. Yes, yeah, so that would be fun. I'm thinking of doing, I want to try and practice my faces because um, I just went a little bit pobby then. Yeah, um, yeah I don't do faces. I, I am quite poop at faces. <laughs> I can't really do them very well. So I'm going to have it. That will make me try. What else did we get? Fair enough. Oh. Now, we should have had a look at your art journal mm -hmm. to see what you had actually used and why it was sticky. It's the acrylic paint and the mist together. I think they're oh, like okay. having like a... A little bit a, of a reaction. A bit of a problem with each other. Yeah. Um, but some of my pages are a bit sticky and because I use water-soluble stuff, I can't put like matte medium or gesso, gesso or anything or over anything it because the colours start to come to life again. So I got this for an experiment. It's called Crystal Clear Permanent Clear Gloss Finish. It's so, kind of like um, a varnish, I think. Yeah. So just to it, seal it up. If it doesn't work, then I'll use it on some paintings. It's all right. Mm. And then I got a bag of goodies. <laughs> I love it when they put things in little bags because when you get home, it's like opening a present that you bought with just lots wrap of it money. Just wrapping string, and then you'll be <laughs> right. really opening it. Whoa! Cheesy biscuits. Oh, your pen! Oh, I forgot what about, about that. your pen. Yeah, where All is right. it? It's there. No, it's not. It is. It's there. Oh, it's in the <laughs> box. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. All right, you show those first. That's yours. That's mine. Yes. Okay. All right. So, as usually happens, you get oh, to the don't counter. Show the most exciting one okay, first. Okay, fine. All right. That's well, really one. um. This is really cool because I don't know about you guys, but I usually use pencils um, just because I prefer the, I don't know, kind of like the rounded tip, Pencilness. if that makes any sense. Um, I'm not a huge fan of pacers because the, the, the pacer lead is usually quite small. It's like a point two or a point it's three. Tiny. It's quite tiny, but the, uh, I'm glad I asked. Um, mm. I asked the guy to, you know, say, you know, this is what I'm doing sketching and then probably watercoloring over the top of it and then maybe going over that with some pen. You're super um, helpful. What would you suggest? And he suggested this. I don't know if you could... Oh, that way. Here we go. So it's a Stadler 1.3 Pacer. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's super thick. Um, so it's a 1.3 HB and okay. the... Nice. Uh, the pacer is super thick so that um, you can actually kind of, you know, get a bit of a a real kind of cool sketch out of it. And uh, yeah, I, that's pastry. freaking cool. So instead of having like, you know, a pencil that you've got to sharpen all the time or a, a pacer that's going to snap every five seconds or and be, be really too like scratchy thin or and thin and or yeah. whatever. Um, I can go nuts with this. So that was really cool. And I cool. liked that. Me too. Yes. I might share that with you. <laughs> then I have been using my Tombow brush markers. I think that Tombow ABT. I don't know. Tombow brush markers. Art brush? And, um, oh, yeah. ABT. Yeah. Art brush oh, texture? Art brush. A beautiful texture. Mm -hmm. Um, and I've been using them to do some hand lettering in my art journal. I've never been into hand lettering, but it's really fun. So these are good because they come with a, like a brush tip. Ooh, colour in my eyeball. And then, um, a, like a fine tip. So I already have a few colours, um, but I got these. So a dark blue, powder blue, black, red and brown. And we're going to share them. Yeah. Because I have no use for brown. Really. Really. Oh, well, I guess you could do hair and stuff. Oh, yeah, I could do hair. Yeah. I didn't think that. Mm. Well, that was the reason you got it for me. Because... Yeah, because you draw people. You thought I'd be doing hair a lot. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so that's going to be cool. Um, you go. Right. And then I, uh, again, I had to ask the dude because... I wanted to get a pen to um, kind of, you know, go over my sketches in a more, once I have the sketch out, I want to be able to pen it in and make sure it's locked down, for want of a better word. I don't know what you call that. Lock it down. <laughs> um, before I then, like, watercolour over the top of it, or vice versa. Um, and I didn't want a pen that was going to, like, run or react mm -hmm. with the water. 
So uh, I got another Stadler pen. Um, and then, yeah, it's just a, a 0.4 nice, you know, your usual kind of felt tip style point. So it's like pigment ink. Pigment liner. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, and it's, that's pretty cool. 18 hours with a cap off. Hmm. Hmm. So it's kind of random. But, um, yeah, it feels super nice to write with and draw and stuff. So pretty keen to use that. Yeah, pretty keen beans. Keen beans. Um, Copics are on sale. Copic, Copic. Copy, well, copy. the reason we went so nuts with all the stuff is because they had Huge sale. a sale, like 15% off all drawing stuff. And it ends today. It ended today. So, so we couldn't sorry. even like wait until payday and then go back for yeah, it. Yeah, we so. just went nuts. Um, anyway, I don't have any Copics. I'm going to call them Copics. I don't have copy, copy, whatever. Um, I don't have any, but everyone always talks about how fabulous they are. So I got one because uh, they were like 15 or 20% off. Um, single textures. So I got BG15 and it's an aqua colour and it's got, ooh, it's got a chisel point on one side. But it's like a full square, isn't it? No, it's diagonal. No, I mean, like that yeah, way. Yeah, it's yeah. quite. It doesn't come to a thing. Thick. It's no, a, no, it's thick. Yeah. yeah. And then like the brush one on this side. Ooh. Very nice, very nice. Ooh, I like the thick side. So yeah. Yeah, that's really awesome. So I thought, uh, full, and I don't have any of those in the Tombow ones, so this colour, anyway. Um, so yeah, I want to have some fun with that. Very nice. And then, okay, so you know when you get to the counter and there's always, you know, that one thing that's really cool looking and you kind of go, well, that's really cool, but I probably wouldn't have any use for it. But then there's those things that are like, wow, that's friggin' awesome and I need to buy that even though I'm spending all this other money. Like a chocolate bar at the grocery shop. That's yeah, why they exactly. put them there. So you're like, oh, I'm a little bit hungry right now. I need some sugar. I'll just get one. Yeah, that's why they do it. Yeah. Very clever. So I like to fill my pockets with a lot of stuff. Um, and I carry around a little moleskin notebook, but I haven't been able to find a pen that I can kind of carry around without it you know, like exploding in my pocket or it breaking. Um, you know, like the, the button pens don't work because they get clicked down and then the ones with the lids, the lid usually gets messed up. So and you lose the lid. Well, no, that's the thing. Like it doesn't stay on anymore. So anyway, um, all they're plastic and they just break and stuff. So this one is freaking awesome. It's a pencil though. It's a pen, actually. Is it? I got the pen one because ah. I already have a sweet pacer. So there was two versions. There was a pacer version and a pen version. Oh. Um, so it is metal and it's kind of like, uh, it's you know, like a pencil style hexagonal. Super heavy. Octagonal thing. It's metal. It has a level in it. Oh, I didn't see the level. Yeah. It's got a stylist end thing. And you can unscrew this, and it has a small flat head, and then you pull that out and turn it around, and it has a small Phillips head. It's like the ultimate man pen. <laughs> yeah, and it's got, you know, all the different kind of rulers on the side, inches and millimeters and centimeters, and what's that last one? A third, a third meter. Yeah, right. That's... What? Kind it's of not a third meter. Right? One third meter. One three hundredth meter. Even. Sorry, I can't read. I don't know what that is. But yeah. And then it has your usual, you know, you twist and the pen bit comes out. Yeah. So, that is freaking awesome. And that is what I've been looking for. And yes, it may have been slightly expensive, but it's cool. And it came with a free pen refill that thing. That's good. So... But I think they're fairly Do you want to show the brand? standard refills. So yeah, it's called a one one touch stylus nine function tool pen. <laughs> and there's all the things that it has and can do. Oh, it's got a racer in there somewhere. Pencil only. Yeah. There you go. But it's Father's Day next, this weekend, so yes. that would be a great Father's Day present. Actually, but Aaron's keeping it. It is by <laughs> Mont Verde. Mont something. 
Yeah, I I even think that's a so, freaking yeah. cool pen. That is that is amazing, and it's called Montverde pens. Um, so they might have some other sweet ones there, but if you're in Australia, it may not get here by the time you order it. No, have a look at Eckersley's. But like yeah, for Eckersley's there, and they have an online store too. Freaking cool. Oh, and there's We're a different. Technical problems. Is this one recording? Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Where's your camera? There? Yeah. yeah it's there? Yeah. Um, yeah okay, technical so problems. technical issues. Okay, um, my iPad was so... full because I take too many photos. <laughs> but for the third time, they have all different types of ends. And I was just looking before, you can actually change them, which is pretty cool. So you can use the same so pen and just you, buy. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. they have like different colors, and one looks like a actual you know, yellow pencil style oh, right yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. All right, anyway. and then for peace on I probably massacred that. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay. So, so this was the big ticket item. This is what Adele went to look at, but not buy. But they had one left. They had one left and the sale was on. So we did save and like sale, $50. And the sale was on and... The next size down was, was the missing. 36 pack. No, the, like that they had there was the 36 yeah. pack. So I have the Prismacolor 24 pack and I love it. And I use it in my Fobonichi because I don't want a watercolour in my Fobonichi because I'm not very confident with watercolouring yet, whereas I love colouring Plus also in. you're using, like before you were using an exercise book and now you're using that okay. giant yeah. thing where the pages are quite thin. Pages so you don't want thin. it to... But other people though, use it. I know, but even though you're doing two pages, yeah. you don't want it to like bleed through or yeah, go yeah, all that's true. crinkly and weird. So I think I'm going to keep my Fobonichi for colouring in because I, I just enjoy colouring in. Mm. I always have been yeah. a pencil Plus those pencils water. look amazing anyway. Oh, so. so good. So I have the 24 pack and I wanted the 72, but they didn't have it. So they only had 36 and I was like, well, I'm not going to pay all this money for only 12 extra colours, um, technically. Um... So I got the 132 pack. Oh! <laughs> Show them how thick the case is. I haven't is. opened it yet because <laughs> I wanted to, you to see my reaction. Um, but I'm super excited. These are the wow. colours. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, so to say I'm excited is a slight understatement. Let's open this bad boy. Some hand. Some yeah. key or something? Mm. There it is. It's over there for me. Um, so... It's like a kid on Christmas. Oh, <laughs> about pencils. So nerdy. Um, but I figured Aaron can have my 24 pack. Aren't I kind? Yes. <laughs> no, alright, so... Well, like, you know like gonna, little trays. You know what's going to happen. I'm going to, like, drop these. <laughs> Just hold the sides so, so they don't fall out. Like this. Oh, no, but they can fall out. They're not. <laughs> no, no, look, look, that's too steep. <laughs> Made mummy anxious. <laughs> it's like a newborn baby. Oh, oh, don't drop it. So, um, there's these ones. See? They're still in their little things. No, but they're not in order. They're not in order. How is there an extra one? <laughs> there isn't. Look at those blues. <laughs> And then I'll probably redo the colour orders anyway. Yeah, probably. Because I'll probably put all the ones that I use, like the colours that I use most. In one In one, tray. like all in a couple of trays. And then things like this snot Green colour. and snot. <laughs> they can just go down. It's a beautiful snot. <laughs> and then more. Oh, those yellows are nice. They are nice and bright. It's very gold. Yeah, it's very gold. Oh, look at all those greys. Oh, that's cool. <sighs> <laughs> So, um, mega excited about that. So you'll be seeing those in my Used a lot. art journal and my Fobonichi. Yeah. Um, and yeah, hmm. that, so was yeah that was a good haul. Giant haul, and we spent far too much money, bread and water for us only for the next two <laughs> week or so. Oh. Um, um, but yeah, yeah, so I think I think we did pretty well. Uh, we we saved a lot, like we did. Yeah, if. We had to bought all that and there was no sales on, it yeah. would have probably cost at least a hundred dollar more, more yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah. yeah. Thanks for watching our haul 
and comment down below if you'd like to see more Arwen in the videos. Aaron, his name's Aaron. <laughs> I call him Arwen. Um, but yeah, let us know if you'd like to see some more of his, because his style's very different to mine. I'm more whimsical and pretty, and he's... Kind of dark, and it'll be a lot of gaming stuff as well, probably. And like men with swords and things. Yeah. So yeah. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and if you'd like to see more collective videos. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. Um, and catch me over at Inky Quill. I'll put the link down below. And you can see the both of us on our vlog, which is called Mr. and Mrs. Rad. Because we're uber rad. <laughs> we like to pretend we are. Um, <laughs> hey. <laughs> um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.